Hey guys, it's Miki ASMR here, and I'm going to be reading Chocolate Kiss. This is a Sugawara Koshi X Femme Listener, and this is part two to the blank kiss story, or like, series. The first part is Strawberry Kiss, and then it's a Tsukushima one, so if you guys want to um, watch that, I'll have a little card thingy. It'll show up somewhere in the video, or just go on my channel and watch it if you want to. Um... I, I'm gonna apologize in advance if I get flustered reading this because that happened the last one, so let's hope that doesn't happen this time. Okay, let's go. Alright, I'll explain it to you one more time. First, you take X and you- Ah, Suka-chan, this is so confusing. I feel like my head is spinning. Ugh, oh, last name Chan, it's not that hard. I know you can do it if you really tried, but I am trying, it's just so difficult. Why does math have to be numbers and letters? You whine, laying your head on your tutor's shoulder. Can we take a break already? But we just had a break 10 minutes ago, and we haven't even finished two problems. I know, but all this math is making my head hurt. All of a sudden, your stomach began to growl. Oh, and apparently I'm hungry too, you said with a bright smile on your face. Suga sighed. Oh, Alright, I'll go and get you some snacks from the vending machine, but you better keep studying while I'm gone. You know I will. Sugawa raised his eyebrow, obviously saying through your smiley lie. I promise, with a cherry on top. Don't you mean, cross my heart and hope to die? Cherry on top is when you say please. Uh, oh, yeah. I guess my hunger got the best of me. <laughs> he says, scratching the back of your head, blushing with embarrassment. Another sigh from Sugawara came from his chair as he exited the library, tussling your soft hair out of the way. He watched your sweet companion leave, waving and smiling until you heard the door shut. Ah, uh, how to catch up on some of these. Time skip. Alright, chocolate milk for me, and strawberry for last name John, the gray-haired setter said, pressing the machine's illuminated buttons. Suga-chan, a voice called. sugawara Senpai, another one called. Sugawara turned around to see members of his team walking towards him. Oh, Daichi, Tanaka-kun, what are you guys doing here? Daichi-san was helping me with some spikes. Are you here tutoring last name Chan again in math? Yeah, for some reason she just can't get the hang of it. Well, it's not like you really mind, right, Suga-chan? Daichi teased. Flushing lightly, Sugawara stuck, stuck his straw through the milk box hole. He slurped while mumbling. I have no clue what you're talking about. Oh, come on, Sugawara. We all know you have a massive crush on last name Senpai. Tanaka said, so, wait, so, Tanaka's sudden accusations made Sugawara choke on his milk, causing him to start a coughing fit. <coughs> See, Daichi-chan, I told you he'd react. Oh wait, that was the wrong voice. <laughs> See, Daichi-chan, I told you he'd react. In their slight sadistic, their slightly sadistic, Captain chuckled at the two. All right, come on, Tanaka, let's not tease poor Suga anymore. Oh, all right. Sugawara watched his teammates walk away as he finished his chocolate milk while still blushing. I, I hope Wayan is having a better time than me. As a cold knob of the door squeaked, Sugawara pushed the library door open with your milk and some cookies in hand. Last name Chan, I'm back. He returned to find you fast asleep. Last name Chan, he called from behind you. Seeing as that, you didn't, as that didn't work, the brown-eyed boy poked your soft cheek. Sugawara sighed as he came closer to you. Wayan Chan, wake up. He whispered in your ears. You shifted, moving your head to the side. Hmm, Koshi. The blushing setter stared at you, at your red lips, as you mumbled his name. Your sweet, sultry words rang in his ears as he watched your peaceful sleeping face. <sighs> Alright, fine. If that doesn't work, maybe this will. Sugawara bent over the chair and kissed her sweet lips. He lingered there for a moment, savoring the time he had you all to himself, until he felt you stiff. Or until he felt you stir. In a flash, the blushing mess of a boy jumped up and stumbled back onto a seat just before you awoke. Your drowsy eyes opened to the gray hair setter on his face, with a look on his face buried in his book. Wait, what? Hmm, Suga-chan, you groaned, rubbing your eyes. You made tasting noises with your mouth and licked your lips. Why do I taste chocolate? Y y you're probably just really hungry, he said, not looking at you. I, I got you some cookies and strawberry milk. Ah, yeah, you took the snack from the table into your hands until you noticed a lack of extra food. 
Suka-chan, didn't you get any for yourself? Oh, oh, no, I, I did. I had some chocolate milk on my way back. Oh, okay. You sipped your milk box and chomped on the cookies while you... Wait. Oh, uh, well, before you finally made the connection between the stuttering stutter and the mysterious chocolate taste on your lips. Um... Suka-chan? Yeah, yeah? Do you want a cookie? Um, sure. The blushing boy slowly put the book down and reached for the cookie. Before he could reach it, though, he pulled the bag away, leaving him perplexed. Last name? You picked up the cookie and presented it to him. What? What? You hesitated before continuing, getting redder by the second. S say ah. Uh. <laughs> Suga flushed after processing the command you gave him. Y y you... What? Just do it already. You yelled, getting slightly impatient. Uh, uh, okay. Red by the face, or red in the face, the gray-haired boy moved closer to the cookie in your hand. Just before you took a bite, you placed the cookie in your mouth and pecked his soft lips, breaking the cookie off as you pulled away. Both of you blushing at the- or both of you blushing a light crimson, a bright crimson. Neither of you could look each other in the eye. Why in, John? Sugawara mumbled, with his hand covering his mouth. Y you taste like chocolate. Y you taste like strawberries. You guys should totally make some strawberry covered chocolates. Wait, some chocolate covered strawberries. Tanaka, shut up. Sorry, Daichi san. Recognizing the two voices from the back, you and your sweet tasting setter blushed harder, if that was even possible. Suwara felt much worse, realizing that they had probably been seen the whole time. You hid your you hid your beet red face in your small hands. Koshi, you groaned. We need a new place to study. You're telling me. That was a little bit shorter, but I messed up less, so that's good. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. That was so cute. Oh my god. Um, that was adorable as fuck. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um yeah i really like that one that was cute as fuck uh honestly that was just adorable um yeah thank you guys for listening to the video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did oh sorry i read one of the descriptions if you guys did make sure you subscribe to the video wait what subscribe to the video <laughs> subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell so you get notified when i post a video and like that video so because that boosts the algorithm and comment down below some other characters you want me to read because i will definitely do that for you guys and yeah thank you guys so 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 much for listening i hope you guys had a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye